So when you break it down, a business is, is made up of three, maybe four things. Firstly, it's made up of people. And the way you go about recruiting and the types of people you attract is critical for how your business will be seen by your customers. So if you take any Tom, Dick and Harry that walks through the door and employ them, or you employ someone because they've been recommended by a friend and you don't put them through a process, don't blame me when you get bad employees. But then once you've got employees, how do you develop and train them? Because I've found there are only a handful of reasons why people don't do the things you want them to do. They either don't understand why, they don't want to do it, they don't have the skills or the resources or the knowledge to do it, or there's no consequence for them if they don't do it. So if you've got any one of those four things missing, your people won't be as effective as they could be. So people are a part of the business. The second thing is organisation. The way you structure those people to enable you to do what needs to be done for the customer is important. And if you get that wrong, you'll end up with tensions between departments. And my experience is there's no such thing as a perfect organisation structure. So it's just a question of understanding where are the tension points. So typically they'll be between sales and operations or between finance and everyone. You'll know in your business where are these things where when you have your management team, where the arguments tend to surface um, and, and figure them out and just recognise that and manage that particular tension. So the third thing an organisation is made up of is processes. So processes are the way things flow through the business. So one of your key processes is your customer delivery process. You know, the steps you take to deliver a product or service. So having those processes documented and written down is really important because it's part of the intellectual property of your business. And if you wanted to sell your business, someone will want to be able to know and learn very quickly how they pick it up and run it. So having procedures and instructions is important, but the principle of leverage is important. The principle of continually improving and finding ways of making the business go better, so doing more at lower cost or, for, or better for your customer is the, is the constant drive for improvement, and that should underpin any business. And again, it's a fast way of delivering additional profitability without having to fill your bucket up with more customers. And the fourth dynamic, which is, is, is an argument, uh, you know, I argue with myself actually about whether this is really one of the four things that a company has, is its data. So the data that a company manages to produce through its operations and through what it does, and how it uses that data to inform itself and educate itself and make changes to keep, to keep current. So I think there is a real solid case for every business focusing on what are our information flows? Do we get information quick enough of the right caliber to be able to judge what's going on and make the necessary changes? So again, I'd like you to rescore yourself on organization on the audit um, form that you have and see again if there's anything came out for you in that discussion. But tomorrow I'm gonna to talk about the, 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 the eighth point, if you like. So the eighth point is not on your audit form. But it's the thing that really drives performance and it's, it's about your behaviour and your mindset and how you operate and the people in your business operate and how well grounded and connected you are as a group of people. I'm going to talk to you about that tomorrow. I'll see you then.